All right, so after a, a lovely, wonderful hike and a beautiful sunset shoot from here, the summit of Dow Crag, darkness will soon be upon us. Now, it's, uh, it's hard to argue against the fact that I have the best job in the world. <laughs> and I have got a paid sponsorship, a paid video, this video. Whoa! And I tell you what, it's a bloody good job I am being paid as well, because I almost had to buy a new camera. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've been sent a new product by Logitech. Now, I don't usually do paid videos like this, but it's a genuine product that not only do I need and that is perfect for what I do here on location and in my van, I think there may be some value in it for you as well. Because it's all about working on the road in my small van, editing images, social media, even just entertaining myself with those long nights in the van. Right, welcome everybody to the van. We made it, we made it off the mountain. And I'm very excited today to tell you about this, the Logitech Combo Touch paired with an iPad Air fifth generation and this little beauty, which is a Logitech Crayon. Now I've been after a lightweight mobile work solution, let's call it, for some time. You see, I've got a, an iPad iMac, iMac, iPad, no, what is it, an iMac Pro, but it's like from 2015. It's old, it's tired, it's heavy, it's cumbersome. Uh, <laughs> the screen is a disgrace, it's all scratched, it's just, it's done. So when Logitech got in touch and asked if I wanted to make a piece about the Logitech combo touch with the iPad 5th gen and this Logitech crayon, I thought this could be the solution. Now the way in which I'm currently using this for my own workflow is I have Lightroom CC installed on the iPad. Lightroom CC is like a, a mobile version of Lightroom. And that is paired to my Lightroom Classic, which is on my desktop in my office. So I've just been up on Dow Crag. I've come down, I've got one of the images, popped it on the iPad. And here I can edit the images and all of the edits that I make on the road on my iPad will be synced with my computer at home. Editing with the iPad is a whole entire other video. Today, I'm talking about the case, the keyboard, the very thing that turns this iPad from what is a slippy, awkward device into something that is incredibly usable and workable. So this Combo Touch is incredibly versatile. Essentially, it has four different modes. So you open it up, and there's a little magnetic flap on the back that we're going to pop out and stand it up. So in this position, essentially, it looks like a laptop. It really does. The screen is at a nice angle. The keys are all backlit, which is great when I'm being stealthy in my van with all the lights off. And the trackpad is a click anywhere trackpad, which makes for a very pleasant user experience. So this is great if you just want to do emails or, you know, I like to make notes and write down ideas for videos and photography locations, that kind of thing. Now, if I pull back the kickstand all the way and remove the keyboard, I'm in sketch mode, or as I like to call it, editing in Lightroom mode. So now we have this, this beautiful editing platform. I call it an editing platform, just the angle, the pen, the way that you interact with the screen, obviously the quality of the iPad. Um, it is, yeah, I mean, it's great. It's absolutely fantastic. The third mode is view mode, or as I like to call it, laying in bed watching YouTube videos mode. Snap the keyboard on backwards like so, flip out the kickstand, and then we have a nice, tidy, secure, and <laughs> balanced iPad. We could just lay back and watch these videos. And then finally, we have read mode, which essentially, um, you know, just you just hold it in your hands. But you can see how the keyboard um, is attached, but gives you a nice flush back. The Logitech Combo Touch also massively protects the iPad, so I don't need to be too careful with it. For example, if I'd rather be, I don't know, like out on the beach than cooped up in my van, I can read, write, and do emails out in the fresh air with no stress. It's also worth mentioning that the Combo Touch requires no batteries as it's powered from the iPad and pairs instantly via the smart connector. Oh, it's really strong as well. The, uh, the keyboard is magnetic, but you can see I'm holding it by the keyboard and it ain't coming off. Now let's talk about the negatives, which actually is a bit tricky because I could only find one and a half things that annoyed me. And the first one is to do with the Logitech Crayon. Now, they sell this as an accessory that you would pair up with the 
combo touch here and it all works beautifully. Would I recommend this? Absolutely. But can you believe, because I couldn't believe it, spent about 20 minutes looking, there's nowhere to store the crayon. You cannot attach the crayon to this. Um, and that's a great shame because that means, no doubt, I'm going to end up losing this crayon at some point. The second negative, or half of a negative, okay, no, it's tiny, it's really small, but it did have me perplexed for some time, so I thought it would be worth a mention. And that is to do with the volume controls on the side of the case. The plus increases the volume, and the minus decreases it. However, when in this typing mode, so your iPad is uh, essentially sideways, those volume switches are the opposite way around. So you try and turn the volume up and the volume goes down and vice versa. And that's not that Logitech have got that wrong. It's that on the iPad Air fifth generation, they've kind of made the volume buttons changeable. So when you rotate the iPad, the function of those buttons changes. Of course, the great thing about the combo touch is all of the iOS shortcuts across the top of the keyboard, such as the home function, keyboard backlight and screen brightness, and of course, yeah, your volume controls. So there we go, just a few minor negatives, but all in all, would I recommend the Logitech Combo Touch? Now, bear in mind, I am being paid, but that does not change my opinion. Uh, being paid or not, I would definitely recommend this. Um, I didn't know such a thing existed. I'm behind the times. You see, I've never liked the iPad. Not because I don't like the technology, but it's the form factor. I don't like the touchscreen. I don't like the slippiness of the pad itself. But with this case on, it turns it into something so usable, especially with the crayon. It's not bad value for money. About 150 quid for the case. Mm, 70 quid for the crayon. But... It is very, very nice. It protects your iPad. It's stylish. Um, and yeah, the fact that I can be on location, edit images, travel, edit images, it all syncs up with my computer at home. Um, I can share, direct to social media, emails, watch YouTube videos, listen, the whole thing, the whole package is a revolution to me. <laughs> Someone who's, who's stuck in 2002 um, with his technology. But yeah, yeah, there you go. Absolutely recommend it. Now, this case as well is available for lots of other models of iPads that I cannot remember. So I'm going to pop them on screen here. There you go. Link in the description. The Logitech Combo Touch. 100% paid or not paid. I'm recommending this. And you can expect probably to see this in many videos in the future, especially um, as I start to process images straight off the mountain in the van on this iPad. There you go. Thanks for watching and... Uh, Till next time, bye for now.